Hi everybody, happy Saturday. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Calvin here with a look at your tropical update. It's 8 o'clock. We do these every night at 8 p.m. here through the peak of hurricane season just to keep you in the loop with what's going on. So far, it's been a very quiet hurricane season. Hopefully that continues. We have had a decent amount of activity in the Atlantic over the last few weeks, but that has really started to wind down. And now we're just down to one tropical wave. Now with 50-50 odds of developing here off the coast of West Africa. Here's the remnants of Jerry. It's totally off the map because the storm just totally fell apart. That's really been the story with a lot of these systems so far this year. They either fall apart or they just curve back out to sea. And that's, you know, we thought that Jerry would curve out to sea. And instead of instead of doing that and becoming a hurricane, just kind of fell apart, which is great news, right? So now our attention turns towards this wave. But again, only 50-50 odds of developing. And look at the development area here. It kind of curves to the north before it even has a chance to get remotely close to the Caribbean, to the Antilles or to the United States. So that's not going to be an issue for us. Now, typically this time of year, we do start to look a little closer to home for potential development areas, namely down towards the Caribbean and the Eastern Gulf going into the Southeast coastal United States. And the reason for that is because typically this time of year, you get cold fronts that push through the Southeastern United States off the East Coast, off the Gulf States. And those cold fronts, as they move over the warm tropical waters, can act as kind of a focal point for any developing new systems. So uh, that's why it becomes a little more common to see activity here. Notice, though, we're not really included in that here in southeast Texas. That's because as those cold fronts come through, they tend to sweep any activity away from us. So our threat for tropical weather really starts to drop off from this point onward. And it's not just us here in southeast Texas. It's really everyone because, again, peak season was a month ago. We're, we're rapidly coming out of the peak of the season. In fact, I would say in the next week or so, our probabilities of seeing tropical systems from a historical or climatological standpoint really starts to drop off. And you see that really accelerate as we get into November. So as of tonight, October 11th, there are no named systems in the tropics. There's no development expected in the Caribbean, in the Gulf, no concerns for any land masses anywhere. Of course, we'll watch that wave in the Atlantic. Uh, but aside from that, we don't have anything brewing in the tropics. Of course, stay with us for the latest on what's going on in the tropics as long as hurricane season continues from now through November 30th. We'll keep doing these videos as long as we're in the peak uh, realm of hurricane season. And of course, we'll have an update on this and your forecast here at home and here in Houston on the KHOU 11 News at 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. We'll see you then.